Lords of Saruman. We have work to do. Which means I woke up to news that a Thor Ragnarok trailer just hit the internet. Which is necessary and I needed to see this. I wanted to see it. Now it's it. Let's talk about it. It starts out Chris Hemsworth is wrapped up in chains and he's pretty much like, This is the story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Did you see Hela and Baddies coming in and just wiping out Asgard? He throws Mjolnir at her head and she just goes, Bam! And holds it and then crushes it. Mjolnir's gone. Thor has no hammer. Hope they can find the heart of another dying star to forge another one. Otherwise, he just, it's gone now. I'll be honest about it. I'll be transparent. I don't know much about the whole Ragnarok thing with Hela. And I know Hela is supposedly like, God. Which means God's an asshole and will break her hammer. Can we just address the fact that that is Kate Blanchett? I totally forgot Kate Blanchett was in this movie. I forgot she was Hela. Then I saw that and I was like, ooh, who's the hot chick? Love me some sexy evil. Then I realized it's Kate Blanchett. All right, the Irony being, Kate Blanchett was in the curious case of Benjamin Button, and Kate Blanchett herself gets younger and younger for every year that passes. Seriously, what is she? 30 max? She's like, Asgard is no more, so now Thor gets captured and he's made to fight in an arena with Jeff Goldblum and the rest of the neon painted armor folks from Destiny. Same color palette, they look like Destiny folks. Which is why this trailer needed to happen for me. I saw the pictures of Goldblum, pictures of Thor, and I was like, Looks very different. So I figured it was something I needed to see in motion. And in motion, I like what I see. I wish Loki's helmet had covered his whole head like before. Funny thing, Thor's helmet is pretty much Thor's helmet. Like, I don't know if he got that from Goldblum and the rest of the Destinies. But his helmet just reminded me of Orion from Wonder Woman. So what I like about this trailer is it brings context to the new color scheme and the outfits and the haircut. Before I was like, so everything in Asgard is just different now? Why? So now we see why. It's not Asgard. It's another society of people and that, that's how they are. So when Thor's getting ready to fight, he's like, alright, whatever comes through that door, I'm gonna have to fight it. And you hear Goldblum like, here is your incredible, boom, Hulk comes through. And Planet Hulk armor, and Thor's like, yes! And everyone's like, why? I'm confused. He was supposed to be afraid, damn it. And the lion, he's like, I know him! He's a friend from work! And then they charge at each other and they fight and you know that fight is going to be the coolest fight. I mean, Hulkbuster and Hulk was a pretty big fight, but this fist fight is going to be a pretty sweet one. No hammer trickery this time. Hulk's not gonna waste his time trying to pick up a hammer. It's busted. Wait, wait, now that Mjolnir's busted, can anyone pick up the pieces of the hammer? Or are the pieces just gonna be there? Is it the hammer as a whole that people can't pick up unless they're worthy? Or do the scraps count? If so, it's like, boom, hammer chunks! Damn, I guess we'll have to build a floor over it because no one can pick up the chunks. These are the things to think about when you're gonna bust Thor's hammer. Cut to the title that looks like Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. And now we have a trailer for Thor Ragnarok. Looks pretty good though. This trailer really subsided my concerns from the weird pictures I saw earlier and made me go, okay. Let's watch Thor fight Hulk in the arena. Thor's world gets invaded, if not wiped out. Thor needs to fight in an arena. I imagine he and Hulk are gonna team up to take out the asshole that wiped out his world. If you don't do that in Thor's world when he has his big green friend, you get away with it. While Thor's brother Loki watches him fight Hulk next to painted up brundle flies. Not nice. So yeah, solid. Glad I got a trailer. Glad I can put context to the imagery. Let's bring on Thor Ragnarok. But for you guys, the Thor Ragnarok trailer, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Did you have concerns with the images? Did this trailer give context and subside those concerns? Or were you just like, yeah, on board the entire time? Or are you still not on board at all? Whatever you think, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.